everybody, and welcome to a bonus episode of Depth Pod. <laughs> I don't know what to do since we're not doing a regular episode. Right. Uh, uh, go ahead. Are you, you going to say you're Neil? I'm Neil. I'm Annalise. Uh, <laughs> welcome so, to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. So if you're, bonus pod. <laughs> if you're listening to this, you obviously download the app. We thank you very much. Thank you. It was free. We love but, it. You know, and you can delete it after you listen to this if you want. Um, but this is our voicemail episode that we've been threatening to do for... Almost two years now. <laughs> so we're going to play all the voicemails and, well, no, I should say, we're going to play most of the voicemails, some we actually lost. So there's a few. Uh, some may not be here, so we'll skip over those. Some may be here. Some may never be here. I don't know. <laughs> and we're going to read them as well. We're going to read the transcript and then play them. It's just for fun. So um, hope you guys like it. Yeah. So and, we had a blast. Yeah. So <laughs> I'll move that over here real quick. All right. So the first one comes from a, and I believe we have some from podcasters who aren't podcasting anymore. Right. And we have some from people that we don't know. So we don't know who everybody is. We actually have only listened to a, a couple. Most of these we've never listened to because right. we've been waiting for this moment. Exactly. And if um, we can't clearly make out your name or who you are and you recognize it, please, please let us let know us so know. we can thank you. Yeah. But um, for the most part, I think we got who No idea, did them. to be honest no. with you. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, and it'll probably come out during... So. Right, and I, that's actually one of the reasons we did this. So it would be a surprise for you and us, for the ones we haven't heard yet. So Right. All right, you ready? <laughs> I think I am. So the first one we do know comes from Jay Bidwell. Yay. Hey, um, Jay. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Let's see what – and this is from uh, June 9th, 2014. Hilarious. Yeah, here we go. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. Well, this is here, Dark Angel, pretty freak. Oh, you think you're top bitch? <laughs> Back Somebody's drinking. Back Come on, that's the first fucking time. No, I was fucking doggy. Oh, I was supposed to read it first. Hold on, stop. I'm supposed to read the transcript first. <laughs> My bad. We're not going to start the thing over, but here's what, what the transcript says. It says, plus here, or if you'll, for the freight, was pitch. Hi, our black back to buy. I am. I was probably who's looking out for the yeah. It's his wife, the Doug, hey, Sapporo better, or anywhere. Therefore, it's rules towards shtick. Yes, 23 world here. So yeah, bye, 50, bye. Hey, you always walls or walt. Well, quite a while, but what's up? What's up okay? Still kind of. <laughs> <laughs> That's the transcript. So would, now back I don't, now back to I, the... How, how does Google Voice work? It makes no Dougie. sense. I don't know. Yeah, actually, we like... Dougie's too, we like... Oh. Someone's upset at Look Doug. Doug he called me. So you, you keep up that uh, good work there, pretty angels and dark freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Bidwell here. Sing it out. I'm signing out. No. I think, I think you mean it's, it's signing out. No. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want. I want to, I want to, I want to. I want to, I want to dig it, dig it, dig it. Dude, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> So, there we are. There's our first voicemail we ever got. Oh, God. I never heard that one before. Uh -huh. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Jay. The second one uh, The second one comes from our good friend, Heno, on the 16th of June, 2014. And the transcript is, so I guess a little bit heard a little, little angry about how is being called gay, but, you know, I had to consider the source, you know, code I because Eric if over C.F. Lee, Eric softening, that's my middle name. And But I was suppose. <laughs> I can secondly, obviously, French. And we're going to say, well, <laughs> the fact that you know why the French lighter blue dogs with trees, it's because Germany's love marching in the state. Now, as I know Florida realize, wait a minute, I don't know if you can order is due by this. You sent Harrison Gate. Always play and also, I need hardly this awesome 110. I need to say, I'll wait a minute and writers in the morning. Well, let's go back to the source again. And we have Mr. The Both Move the Better, but he says, makes my name seem <laughs> simple. But once we get the, I'm um, always, you have the same for realize this vacation. I guess that it's Katie as far as they should probably French. The witch would be the closet <laughs> would be okay. Plus I look forward to roughly translates then to, and to the hurts. That, <laughs> that was like it. 
was lying further hurts minutes basically means that he is she had her so we got a cheap basically saying that harley rider's going you know unlawful it anymore i feel right about now thanks <laughs> that is so close to making sense but doesn't at all <laughs> here's Hannah. let's see if it okay so i was a little bit hurt a little annoyed a little angry about harley's being called gay but you know uh, i had to consider the source you know i've got a guy his name's Eric, and he spells it with a C. I mean, Eric's an awesome name. That's my middle name. Eric, that's, but I spell it with a K. So Eric is obviously French, and <laughs> well, what do I need to say? Well, other than the fact that, do you know why the French line their boulevards with trees? It's because Germans love marching in the shade. Now, as I go forward, I realize, wait a minute. I don't have to be annoyed or angry by this. He said Harleys are gay. Well, Neil is gay, and Neil is awesome. So that means Harleys are awesome. What more do I need to say? Oh, wait a minute. Harley riders are annoying? Well, let's let's go back to the source again. Here we have Mr. LeBeau, LeBeau, LeBev. I mean, shit, he makes my name seem simple. But once looking at the etymology of this name, I realize this is a Cajun, I dare say Acadian, bastardization of probably a French name, which would be, the closest would be LeBeauf. Now, LeBeuf roughly translates to the herdsman. That was, it was slang for the herdsman. So that basically means that this is a sheep herder. So we've got there. a sheep fucker basically saying that Harley <laughs> riders are annoying. You know what? I'm not so annoyed anymore. I feel all right about it now. Thanks. That's going to So, Hanno, uh, obviously, if you have the app, you know who Hanno is. But uh, one of my best friends uh, and good friend of the show is speaking about Eric LeBeau, who's my sister's ex-husband. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that he was in the picture. He's gone. So Hanno kind of really won that whole yeah, argument. You win. You I win, guess, sir. Hanno, I guess Eric said something about Harley Brighter's. I don't, he must, was that in our, in our episode, episode with him? Maybe. Must have. All right. Uh, here's another from Hanno. Or this it was is, a Thanksgiving scenario. Who maybe. Knows. Who knows? Here's uh, another from Hanno on the 1st of July, 2014. Penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel. Oh, okay. It says, hey, it's altruistic. Hope you stay healthy years, but hope you stay. Cool mistakes. Open as they call newspaper. Looking to stay. Cool newspaper. Openings. Bagel. Newspaper. Openings. And this is Penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel. You just said penis bagel for 10 seconds. And that's what it trans. Wow. I think they made it way more complicated then. Well, I think this is when we we said that the trans the how Google transposes is crazy. Mm -hmm. And we just said people just call up and leave something to see what it right, says. What so it says, Heno, yeah. so here's another one from Heno on the same day. And it says, um, yeah, hi. Yes. I hope you stay healthy. Hope you stay. Hope you have PayPal newspaper. Use PayPal. You speckled seniors. Thank you. Hope you stay healthy. Call Patio. Use and stay healthy. Hope you have to use. I hope you. I hope you PayPal. You echo years. PayPal. He is. PayPal is still chow. I hope it says PayPal in there. I hope so. <laughs> oh, what, what, what did I do? Oh, I did hit the wrong button. Here we go. Try it again. See you had to <laughs> Penis bagel, 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 penis bagel. Don't be doing that. Penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel. I had no idea he did that. I didn't either. Penis bagel, penis bagel, penis bagel. That is hilarious. All right. If this third one is from Henna, then no, I'm it's gonna, not. Okay. This one is from the 10th of July on 2014, and I don't know who it who it is. So we'll find out. Hey guys, um, this is Max. I was just inquiring on how many buttholes you lick in one day. Um, if you could give us a call back at three three zero three 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 five eleven six. Um, again, just how many buttholes you lick in an average day? Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> so the, it says, hey, guys, this is Max. I was inquiring on how many bedrooms you like in one day. If you could give us a call back at 330-330-35116. Again, just told me enough about working with you and have a rich day. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Are we sure that wasn't Jay Bidwell again? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, all right. The, the 14th of July on 2000. <laughs> how many buttholes you lick in a day? I would have to say one. I only, <laughs> I'm only allowed to lick one, right? I, I can't go That's licking right. other people's buttholes. <laughs> um, let's see. Here we go. Uh, from Heno again on the 14th of July, 2014. Let's see what he has. Oh, 
keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, wait, I guess. Uh, so it says, five once in a time to make your skinny Tuesday. I sent to my three recently sent to my standard for scanning system like he's rolling back to roll back for, but my good to meet roll back and roll back Roebuck, my forced in time Paul squeaks. <laughs> my one skin hangs down to my two skin. My two skin hangs down to my three. My three skin hangs down to my four skin. My four skin hangs down to my knees. Roll back, roll back, roll back my four skin to me. Roll back, roll back, roll back my four skin to me. Cunt, false, creeps. I think I that was that was after the episode we talked about how I don't swear very much. Right. And I get all freaked out about the c word and don't enjoy the swearing. I didn't know there was a foreskin song. Oh, he's sung it for years. Uh, the next one is on the same day from Heno, and it says, "Hey, cats and boots, cats and boots, cats and boots, cats and boots." And Paulson concerns also consult consulting company, also a conference, cats and boots, cats and boots. Six Erica Clark. I'm in mood that boots and pants and boots and pants. I betcha, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots, boots and, and cats. cats and boots and cats and balls and cunts and balls and cunts and balls and cunts and balls and cunts and boots and cats 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 now let's take the word cunt. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> I believe it's all about content, context. This the, was your word. You like this word. practical application of the word cunt really has so much to do. No, I'm not. I can't. <laughs> really? Can't you can't that. take it? Oh, I guess. I'll, 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 Just take off your headphones right, for a second. And I'll tell you when it's over. All right. Or merely. A, Is it loud enough? A well-placed yes. effect. Like, for example, listening to Sting on the bootlegs of the synchronicity rehearsal uh, basement tapes that I have. He refers to his bandmates as cunts. And now I won't even bother to try and uh, imitate his accent. But for some reason, calling men, one man calling another man cunt, a cunt, it it, 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 it seems appropriate and perfect, especially with the accent. And the word means the same there in England as it does here. However... He's just talking about Something how about men the another man just makes it, seem makes it so okay. much more appropriate. Uh. Another example <laughs> I would say would be using the word cunt when it comes to sexual play. Like, for example, if Sex I play. were to be playing daddy and baby girl, uh, two consenting adults here texting each other or even having a little pillow talk. I don't even know night. if I want to know. And, uh, and, and da- daddy, he's talking about how he, when he's playing daddy and baby girl. Okay, sorry. Is he baby done saying the C word? Little cunt. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's not. Good. This is a good thing. That is an right, excellent use of the word cunt. It's oh, my God. It's beautiful. <laughs> like referring to a woman as a useless cunt, <laughs> what um, is this? a worn out cunt, uh, Worthless cunt. I think that you actually Even missed then, the part where he didn't really maybe, say it. Great. Not nearly as bad as calling her a moisty and or a worthless gash. In the case of gash, I think I think the stigma on cunt just goes out the window when we start referring to women as worthless and just hopeless gash. Mr. Misogyny? What? In that case, What's then, happening? I think you about- just gone too far. <laughs> At what right. point did you so go too, too far? far. <laughs> Here's another. I, I think it's going to be the Heno show here. Oh, good lord! I okay. know. Uh, this is we're up to seven from this Heno is on alone. the twenty twenty third of July, and it says bungee jumping the phone. I think that jumping the bill. I have bunch temple talk by the punch. Don't drink it both, and she Joe fitting the pool. Penis bagel. Penis bungee bagel. jumping people die. Bungee oh, jumping bad connection. people die. Bungee. All right. Yeah, it sounds like it says bungee jumping, people die. And here we go. Uh, this is Heno again on the 27th of July. It says, uh, colleges to talk to you, pray for each other. I just want to say I love you guys. Clash lost show. Sorry, I'm a little problem. And everyone's well. If something comes up, I love you. Say Samsung not. I just wanted to call and say thank you so much. I thought that I got the clutch out. I'm Dash so much. Thank you. Let's see what this is about. Hmm. Oh, is this the Dark Angels and Pre Freaks hotline? I just want to say I love your guys' show. Cock Bluff! Show, sorry. I got a little problem. Cut! Every once in a while, something comes up. But I love your guys' show so much. Yeah. I just wanted to call and say thank you so much for putting out such a great show. I love Bitch! So much. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you, Hedo. 
It's just too much. So uh, this one. Not from Heno. No. <laughs> Hi, this is your good friends, Jimmy Bethany, from Married to Podcast. Oh. Um, he's high your show right now, so I wanted to call and thank you for all your help and share the show. And beyond awesome, I wanted to give it. Neil's special chateau thing that brings back to offer caramel for, or snuggle. Whichever you prefer is still up. Meal for grabs me, and I'm sorry I'm Elise. <laughs> no which I was allowed. Okay, so I told you I want some. I'll tell you again, no China, see the snuggle. That's what's not doing it anyway. So I just wanted to say <laughs> hi and hey. Anyway, thanks, guys. Okay, bye. So this is... Hi, this is your good friends, Jeremy and Bethany from Married to Podcast. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. You're on the show right now. Uh, so I uh, we wanted to call and uh, thank you for all of your help sharing our show and being all around awesome. Uh, I wanted to give... Uh, Neil a special shout out saying that 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 offer for a cuddle or a snuggle whichever you prefer is uh I did offer still up you know for, for grabs <laughs> uh, and I'm sorry on Elise no vaginas allowed <laughs> I, I told you once I'm not telling you again no vaginas <laughs> only penises snuggle <laughs> snuggling <laughs> anyway we just wanted to say hi and we were we were uh promoting your shit on our show and decided we would give this fancy number a call and record it because we love you. And I want to win Star Wars stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I need to write that anyway. down. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Star guys. Stuff, Bye. So, uh, yeah, so they have a really cool podcast, Married with Podcast. Now, I haven't seen a new episode in a while. I know things change for them because their jobs change. Right. And then they came out with like one, and then they haven't come out with them anymore. But they're still, check their Twitters every now and then. Yeah. And very cool um, peeps. We very miss cool them. peeps. And their back catalog, I believe, is still available. Yeah. So. It's a good podcast. Um they were and rad that peeps. was <clears throat> that was August 5th of 2014. This is um let's see, this is um from October 24th, 2014. Dear all families, it is Tony from the sexiest pockets of the work. Call and leave you a voicemail. Nice. Um, about how incredibly drunk AM disc early a child, whatever. It's just weird. We spent all day. If you're fest 13, uh, they do this, they do this beers. My friends over here are 2066. Hey, you go to, and the O'Brien over there, his head to saying like a cool, so bright house ago by, uh, so sight or Brian. <laughs> well, okay. So there's no really point to this voicemail. This is a guy. Yeah. I really want to ask yourself, love you guys. Todd book flight. So this is uh, Tony from the Salty Language Podcast. The amazing Tony. Let's see what Tony has to say. I think he might be drunk in this. Possibly. Neil, Annalise, <laughs> it is Tony from the sexiest podcast on the network. Call and leave you a voicemail about how incredibly drunk I am. There's currently a child walking over, which is weird. Uh, we've spent all day at Beer Fest drinking many delicious Delicious beers. My friend T over here is falling asleep. T, say. T. He said, yo. T. <laughs> and Brian's over here holding his head in his hand like a oh, fool. Brian. So I'm Brian, I'll say something. Hashtag more Brian. He says, hashtag more Brian. <laughs> more Brian. <laughs> so drunk. <laughs> so, um, there's really no point to this voicemail. <laughs> God, I love Tony. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, really, really at their show. Love you guys. Ta ta. Bye bye. Love you guys. <laughs> ta ta. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, and so oh a month later, on uh, November 24th, 2014, we get Brian from Salty Language. Oh, nice. Hey guys, this is Brian from Salty Language, Sexy Five Networks course. Yes, calling, say hey to the questioning you. Hey, it's late Friday. Hey, and also, yeah, only know you've, we've keep rocking, you know, the Chrysler's 1Z, yo. Yeah, like I had serious about the late lake right thing. I think you're close, but I think that's actually is in town. Lease, you were nurse in your scenario, and she's your white bright because he should. She brings the politeness to the dark room of stuff. You're there special from your concussion, and you're always trying to say <laughs> to stay so that so you know. I think I figure more of that you were close, but not quite. Yeah, so there's that's that's all. I got for you guys. Just remember to go solve billings.com. Uh, that totally sucks. So I'm assuming this is, this is during when I was having my EEG. Light, my, right? Yeah. My light, yeah. right. Uh, 
when they told me that I actually had brain damage. Right. <laughs> All right, let's see what Brian says. Hey, guys, this is Brian from Salty Language, um, the sexiest part of the network, of course. Uh, <laughs> just call and say hey to uh, Glisten and Neil uh, and his light bright. That's me. And uh, also to Annalise, you know, or Annalise, keep rocking the, you know, the uh, crotchless onesie. Uh, although, Neil, I have a, a theory about uh, the light bright thing. I think you, you're close. But I think what it is is it actually isn't that Annalise is your nurse in your scenario. I oh, think she right. is your light bright because she, <laughs> she she brings all the brightness to the dark stuff from your you know your being special from your concussion, <laughs> and you're always trying to stick things in her. So you know I kind of figure that's more more of it. You you were close, but not quite there. So uh, yeah, that's that's all I got for you guys. Um, just remember to go to saltylanguage.com and that Tony sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag more Brian. <laughs> Hashtag more Brian. All right. This, uh, this one is from oh December gosh. 3rd of 2014 and, um, it's, it's long. So I don't know if I'm going to read it. Okay. Sometimes reading it, the short ones are a little more, you know, otherwise it gets. Just give us a glimpse. Uh, let's see. Hi. Hi. Hi, Neil. On Elise. It's always on a lease, like right. a lease for a car. On a lease, on a, right. on a lease and other 13,000 pretty freaks out there. Uh, so, Sean from the Spurger podcast, shameless plug. I was calling you this week. You guys talked about your favorite animal stories. Normally, I replied your top five all later, but because she has the story, can't really want to do order. So, that, it just goes on like that. Okay. So, here we go. Hi, Neil. Hi, on a lease and all the other dark angels and pretty freaks out there. Uh, this is Sean from. Pittsburgh Nerd Podcast. Shameless yeah. plug. I just want to call in, and uh, this week you guys Nancy's talked nights. about your favorite animal stories. And normally I reply to your top five on Twitter, but because of the it's a story, you can't really do it on Twitter. So I thought instead of doing it to the Facebook page, some no, pauses for Pittsburgh Nerd Podcast is awesome. Go listen to it. I was like typing. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you a couple really quick on the old uh, voicemail, and you can use on the voicemail show and. Probably just we're doing it, Sean. It only took us a couple years, but we're doing so, it, man. Um, two two quick stories. Uh, first off, anybody who listens to uh, to our little show, uh, Pittsburgh Nerd, on iTunes and Stitcher, you can have fun. <laughs> nice. uh, <laughs> you can um, you know that we have, I have a cat named Drift, and I've had Drift uh, for about twelve years now, and you know he, he's my my little man, my little buddy, uh, but. When he was much younger, uh, and I had just started dating Nancy, Nancy's uh, nights, he got into a little bit of trouble. That was uh, it, it was concerning and funny at the same time. And, and what happened is, Drift has uh, what can only be described as an addiction to plastic bags. He will stick his face directly <laughs> in them. He will uh -oh. lick them. He will sniff uh -oh. them. He will roll around in them. He 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 just he has this crazy addiction to plastic bags it's very odd he can't control himself he sees a plastic bag he's got to go to it and uh so we must have left a plastic bag laying around one night without knowing it and he got it wrapped around his neck so it was behind him like a cape and this scared the hell out of him and he's running around like a madman with this plastic bag behind too. him Mine too. like flapping in the wind making this this flapping it was hysterical but i finally got him and traumatizing all at the same time it was freaking and hilarious scared shitless it was awful <laughs> and his eyes were huge and he was hissing at me and he, he was scratched at me he, like, he didn't recognize me you, you would have thought and i actually had to throw a towel over him so i could pick him up and get the bag off of him and it, it was you know it went from being a really funny situation to like a really Oh boy, oh boy, this is really scary. And he he was kind of skittish for for a day or so after that. But unfortunately, he's never learned his lesson, and I have to be very vigilant with him when it comes to uh, the plastic, <laughs> plastic bag. bag. So, <laughs> that's a drift story. Hilarious. Sure. The other one I want to regale it's you true, with. True, they can is, really hurt uh, themselves. From when I was a kid, uh, when I when I was a kid, you know, nine, ten years old, my parents had a cat named Mosby. He was a Good Long, name. dark gray cat, um, named for uh, General Mosby from uh, like. the Civil War. Mm -hmm. Sean's a good storyteller. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. It ended. Yeah, I guess Sean. we get a three-minute 
What happened to Mosby? <laughs> Son of a bitch, Sean, call back. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> call the know. voicemail. <laughs> So this is from January 4th, 2015. It says transcript not available. So who knows what it is? All right. Yeah. Hi, Neil and Annalise. This is Tyler or Alien Hunter 95 on Twitter. Oh. Um, I was, I know this message kind of seems random and long-winded, which kind of is. It's only going to be three minutes. I will follow it up with a question. Um, So sitting at home today, and I I just tend to think about random things that kind of happened over the years, and this particular instance just stuck out to me for some reason. But um, about two years ago, I uh, was working for this older couple who was in need of some amateur web design work. And so I went over to their house, and I'd known them for about three months or so. And uh, I heard on, <laughs> um, on the business end of things. <laughs> Sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, it's we were, the business. We we're going to conclude um, the day. Um, the wife asked me, "Oh, we just got a new printer. Um, could you help us hook it up to our older computer?" Sure, she did. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Plug in her printer. Fine. So we get the printer all set up and stuff, and I'm going to go on the husband's computer because the older computer was the husband's. Hit those keys, to, Tyler. Hit um, those keys. Like the connection settings um, through the control panel or whatever. And I'm about to turn on the computer, and I turn on a light, and it's like one of those overhead lights that so you can see the keyboard when you're typing. And I look at the screen, and it's it's a very dusty screen, but with I guess it was with a fingertip, they had drawn, or I don't know if it was the husband or who did it, but they drew the number six 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 on their computer screen in the dust. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And so... This is going know, a I different felt, direction than I thought. Like, I saw it, and I was like, okay, this is weird. And I never asked them about it, and I never really, I don't know, pursued what that was all about, because I was just kind of freaked out. And they could, I don't know, this is weird. I don't know if they're, like, <laughs> Satanists or whatnot, but I thought it was kind of interesting. And I guess my question to you guys is, has something ever happened like through talking to somebody or witnessing somebody do something that I guess kind of like changes your perception of them like instantly. I mean, I, I don't know. It's like when I still, when I see them over the years, uh, every time I see the husband, I kind of think of that. It's kind of weird. So I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, that's my story and question to you guys. Um, I just want to say, I really like your podcast. It's, very it's a very good show to listen to where you just want to wind down and stuff so um i hope you're all feeling better i know you guys have been sick over the past couple episodes or three i think (laughs) so uh best health wishes to you and uh have a great day bye thanks man it's hilarious he ended exactly on three minutes (laughs) it's like he knew (laughs) uh that was good that was um thank you tyler good guy um, He's nice always guy. been extremely supportive of us. Yes. Uh, and he also really likes sex files, so we bonded over sex that. Sex files. We all like what? sex files. <laughs> Did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> really like sex files. I'm like, nah, who doesn't? Um, okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, do you yeah. want to answer that question now or do you want to wait till no, later? I'll answer it real quick. Okay. Uh, yeah. There, there was a, when I worked in the salon and was cutting hair, there was a this nice lady who's come in all the time. She's come in with a big gulp. And she was very cool. And then I found out that in the big gulp she'd come in, it was pretty much vodka and a little bit orange juice. And I was like, all of a sudden, I'm like, what? The more I got to know her, the crazier she got. But that immediately, like I always thought, like, I'm like, well, that's interesting. She's like this very, she was, you know, I would say very, very upper, upper middle class. She was very, or maybe even very wealthy. And so I always had, like, I was always thought it was weird that she had a big gulp, you know, but I'm like, man, she's into her soda. Um, and so I was thought like she was super pro. I was always very careful around her. And then when I found that out, I'm like, ah, just another drunk like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a quick That's story funny. or? Um, I think so. So, um, there's, um, someone that I know and, um, they, um, so I think I've told these like funny stories about how there's this, uh, bathroom that I try not to use sometimes that's always a mess. And, um. I realized um, not somewhat recently, but maybe like a year ago or so that there's a person that I'm friends with that um, I, they're at, at home, they're very clean. But at work, I've seen this person like 
wash their hands and splash like water all over the counters and like kind of sort of kind of dry their hand and like throw it at the trash can and then doesn't make it into the trash can but they don't pick it up and I'm always like are you gonna like just leave that there you know <laughs> and so I think um you know and obviously this is kind of on the light side but like at work this person is different like at work this person's like right. they're totally just gonna leave that there they're gonna leave like water on the counter they're just gonna leave that stuff on the floor they don't care right right because right. it's not their house or right. whatever and I'm just like oh okay, so we're just going to, and I can't like, I'll be like talking to this person and I'll look at the floor and I'm like looking at that dirty napkin that they left on the floor. I'm like, are you seriously not going to pick that up right now? It's going to drive me nuts. Nice. <laughs> so anyway, so. And that changed your view. That, on- well, kind of changes my view of like, you know, makes you wonder like, do you not care that you dropped it? Do right. you assume someone else is going to pick that up? Like what about you is not picking that up? <laughs> like, and what about me feels like I need to point that out that you're not picking that up. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, and what bugs me about that? I don't know. Right. But anyway, All right. so yeah. Well, back to the on. voice, but not cutting no, you no, no, off. No, 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 for sure. Otherwise we're going to start a podcast. No, I know, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So this uh, transcript, this was on the 22nd of January, 2015. It says, hi, Neil, Ali, this is Clinton's from the Too Big Podcast. Hello, you guys, to you later. Anyway, I'm actually really have anything in mind. Just wanted to give you guys a column today. I guess I really enjoy It Wasn't You has a podcast. I think you guys are awesome in some of it. Anyway, yes, late three morning here. So I'm going to Factiva now. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. (laughs) Factiva. Here here we go. Okay. Maybe. Neil Ali. This is Clint from the Geek Dig Podcast. Geek Dig Podcast. (laughs) Nice. How are you guys doing? Good. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for asking. I didn't actually really have anything in mind. Is this a drunk call? I just call? wanted I so. to <laughs> give you guys a call and Clint. <laughs> say hey. I really enjoy listening to your guys' podcast. That's awesome. And I think you guys are awesome. This is the drunk call. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. Anyway, I love you guys. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love the pauses. Anyway, yeah, it's like three in the morning here, so I'm gonna go back to bed now. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Oh, that's awesome. So awesome, Clint. Thank that you. That is so awesome. Did you put his name down? I did. I wrote oh, it down. That is great. We're we are at 16 voicemails so far. Did you know that? <sighs> well, we had a few. We had a few. Oh, um, right. All right. Here we go. This is from the 26th of uh, January 2015. Um, I don't think we have any 2006. Oh, we we do. All right. 2015. It says, hey, Neil, Emily, is this big data from Snickle Comics? Just got done participating in the rental games this week. And I must say, else day, it was fun playing along. And hopefully, again, love you guys. Bye. I think we know who this is. I do, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Neil and Annalise. This is Big Dev from Snake Oil Comics. Big Dev. I uh, <laughs> just got done participating in uh, the rattle game this week. And, oh, the uh, rattle game. I must say I'm pretty toasty. <laughs> it was fun playing along and uh, hope to play along again. Nice. Love you guys. Bye. The rattle game. Awesome. Big Thanks. Dev is freaking awesome. Oh, my God. They're uh, great podcast. Uh, their their podcast is amazing. And the rattle game, uh, we've talked about it a couple times. Again, this is only a podcast or i'm sorry uh app bonus so people probably know but the rattle game is if we you shake drinks we usually yeah. have uh vodka tonic so when you hear the rattle there rattle you, you have to drink. <laughs> drink and if you're drinking alcohol it'll get you tipsy if you're not get you hydrated unless you're drinking <laughs> sriracha uh here we go the okay. 26th of january uh, let's see. It says, well, so this is done with day camp actually work. I didn't know you got voicemail. This is pretty cool. I'm just calling to say, Hey, I hope everything's going okay. And I'm actually, then you right now, the possible I'll see you. I was, so if you guys all right now don't know, Oh, Hey Sam, it's Jeremy. They say, and Andy, <laughs> Carrie, we were preparing this call. If you have good work, but we know we are, I hope the sound of our voice preview some kind of comfort. And I was thinking that the it bar does. and we were at your seven day will be talking more often. Love you guys. Bye. I think I know who this is too. Wow. So this is Diamond Dave. I can't believe this actually worked. Diamond I Dave. Diamond Dave. This is pretty cool. Uh, I'm just calling to say hey. Hope everything's going okay. I'm actually with Andy right now, but I'm going to pass the phone off to you. But I seriously hope you guys are doing all right. And here you go. Your time is a charm, as they say. This is Andy Spiteri. Uh, we were unprepared for this call because we didn't think it would work. But, uh, you know, 
here we are. This is old and school. I hope yeah. the sound of our voice brings you some kind of comfort. <laughs> and uh, we're thinking of you at this bar that we're at. And I think it was here's Simon Dave. We'll be phoning more often. Love you guys. Bye. Hope so. So that was also the day before we had to put Seven asleep. So mm. I think that's one reason oh. why they called. Yeah. Right. So uh, d- on uh, January 27th at 11.15 a.m., we had to put our lovely Bubba. Well, I, I don't know why I'm explaining it. You guys have the app. You know the story. You know. So this is right you know around that time right. when we knew it was going to happen. So Thanks for calling, here's, you guys. Here's February 8th, 2015. Hey, hey, this is Christine from the Anarchy Else pro- podcast. Once oh. you've known, been a voice voice leading from my home uh, to work early in the morning, late at night. Just want to say it's been really amazing hearing you guys talking. I hope, I hope you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys are the best. <laughs> you know, use but seven stuff, and it's really cool. So, like, yeah, you're interested. You know, all shows on podcast or something. I catch you later. Much love. Bye. We know who this is. Too. I do. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, this is Tristan from the Anarchaeologist podcast. Just best say, voice ever. Yes. You've been a voice, uh, a voice leading me from. My home to work early in the morning, late at night. And I just want to say it's it's been we really spent a amazing lot of time hearing we do. you guys talk. And <laughs> I hope uh, I hope you guys uh, wish you all guys all the best. You know, news about seven and stuff. And I just think you guys are really cool. So like, uh, yeah, if you're uh, interested, you know, check this on a podcast or something. I'll catch you later. Much love. Bye. Another amazing podcaster. Yes. The amazing and uh, we actually have to uh, reschedule. Reschedule. Him. Yeah. Right. Uh, another amazing guy who's been so supportive and is yeah super, for a long time. Super <laughs> super nice and and just a good guy. So and he's an archaeologist. He's How an cool anarchaeologist. He's an anarchaeologist. <laughs> um, so here we go. This is from the twenty first of February two thousand fifteen. Hey guys, it's Steiner Brighton Saner. We're transcribed. <laughs> might pronounce it. I just want to give me a call about the Kurt Bush situation and the suspension mask. All right. I heard he wanted to do things. Crime is broken. And while my thought was, if she would train this afternoon, Perry S. Hansen, I will be able to get over, over, over there. Busy by the by. Steiner. Hansen Steiner. Yeah. Hey, guys. It's Britt McFadden or Bright McFadden or however <laughs> remember. I remember Brit. I pronounce it. Remember the... Uh, yeah. uh, I just want to give you a call about the... Uh, Kurt Bush situation and his uh, suspension from NASCAR. And not the suspension uh, mask. I heard uh, <laughs> that he one of the things he did was slam his girlfriend's head into the wall. Mm. And my thought was, if she was a trained assassin, CIA assassin, um, how was he able to get the upper hand on it? Excellent good question. point. He, uh, Very good point. Like, <laughs> he used the force. Did he, uh, he force choked her. <laughs> oh, where'd you go, Britt? Oh, no, we lost it. Oh. I cut off. What happened? Britt, call back. Oh. That's thank weird because it, it gave the transcribe, but it didn't. Huh. Oh, that's, that's a shame. Well, but thank awesome. you very much. Yes, he's a very, very awesome guy. And um, he and his wife, Tiffany, have been very supportive from the beginning. So it's awesome. Oh, you know what happened? Here we go. Check this out. Hey guys, it's Brett McFadden Two parter. or Bright McFadden or however your trans <laughs> might pronounce it. It gave I'm calling about the uh, Kurt Bush situation. It doubled it up. Is that weird? Suspension from NASCAR, and as my understanding, what he did was uh, was to uh, slam his girlfriend's head into the wall. And I was trying to figure out if she was a trained CIA assassin, how was he able to get the upper hand? <laughs> no doubt, he, sir. Uh, he her by talking about. Kyle's mini kicking uh, and ends, or was she busy Googling whether or not he really was the heir to the <laughs> fortune? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I just wanted to oh. throw that out there. Oh, there we go. Uh, you know, something I ponder while I'm trying to pretend to work or whatever. <laughs> you guys Hilarious. Are doing a great job, and can't wait for the next one. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Awesome. That's funny. All right. Yeah, Kurt Bush, that whole thing when he got suspended from NASCAR. All right. It was a bummer for him. Reinstated. All right. Uh, wow. Uh, so I think what happened is it, 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 oh, I don't know. So this is Brick McFadden again. Is it? So, yeah. Let's see. But it's on the 27th hey, of February. Brick McFadden, uh, I was going to call and make some jokes about the Bush brothers, but then the internet blew up last night with the uh, llamas running loose and address thing. I don't really know where to start, but uh, I'm just going right. to ask my NASCAR question and leave it at that. 
So do you think uh, Kyle's wreck was caused by the CIA as payback for his brother exposing their agent? <laughs> well, maybe it was just my bad attempt at a conspiracy theory. Either way, I hope your transcriber doesn't mess this up too bad. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. That's awesome. That's awesome. So yeah, so uh, Kyle Bush broke his leg right. last year at mm-hmm. Daytona, and, the, and uh, that's a good one. I didn't think about that, but I am going to go with yes. That's exactly what happened. You know, it's, it's like so it. true. Conspiracy this. Bright, <laughs> Bright McFadener. <laughs> All right, so Thanks here's so uh, awesome. March 2015. Heno. One more from Heno. Let's see what Heno's got to say. This one? Oh, am I supposed to read it? Sorry. Wait. She's supposed painted 15, always your state, lengthwise day, so I don't want to hear seat of the house. And although, yet according, I'll see you soon. Hope that we had taken high uh, speed friends. I'll speak with you. Hey, shoot me a call so this is an existence of service. I hope you had a 45 scene from your need the bringing. It is the return receipt rafters, no person's phone, your point, hi, whatever, trade for more, (laughs) procure, reply, proposal, indulge, no, do the social influence, convert any work that the house, Jerry, eight, she, whiter, Volvo, X, E, okay. I don't know what professional first or check, checks within the exist, it's certainly plain, how improving household pretend, so I thought partially effective case. We currently do, I do, I wonder, sir, house. Most painted 15 are noisier mistake led waiting. Surprise not wonder, speedily husbands, although yet end. This is one that did how just for young them. built that one man taken. We highest see friends is exposed equally in. Ignorant had two straight. He's just reading followed. stuff to see what's exposed. Almost sounds like Shakespeare. Or unreserved, oh, piano forte ye. Five with scene put need tore at me. Bringing it is he returned, received raptures. No purse is fully near point. Kindness, whatever betrayed her, moreover procured reply for a proposal no. indulged. No do do sociable heat throwing settling. Covered ten or comfort off carried. A she way earnestly people fill the tree. <laughs> it's not the best sound quality. Right. Sorry. sorry, I know you got cut off. Uh let's see. This is from the twelfth of March, two thousand fifteen. And when you're in my life, Disney, I'm calling and I do things, nothing voicemail. Lucas, anyway, that's pretty much good luck guessing services. Yeah, okay, bye right now. <laughs> we okay. know who this is, too. You'll know when you hear it. Hello, Neil and Annalise. It is me. I'm calling. It is I. I'm doing a thing. The voicemail thing. It's a voicemail. Woohoo, voicemail. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Good luck guessing who this is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Stephanie? Yeah. Bye now. <laughs> Bye now. Yeah. Well, considering you have a podcast, we hear your voice all the time. We kind of know who it yeah, is. Yeah, nice try, though. <laughs> Gotham Lights. Check it out. Uh, the Gotham Lights podcast. And Henna's on that podcast, too. Again. He's also on Moving the Needle. And Angela's awesome. Oh, I don't know if he's doing Angela's anymore. <clears throat> They just came out with an episode, I thought. Yeah, but I'm not sure he's actually on it anymore. Oh, okay. We need updates. I don't know. Um, so we are on our 24th voicemail. Yeah, here we go. Should I read them? Should I keep reading them? Keep. I like the reading. Okay. It's oh, one of you my know, favorite it's parts, kind of actually. funny. We're actually almost done. All right. All right. Cool. So um, I should have taken smaller notes because I'm running out of paper here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Brett and the couple of th- uh, week. I thought I'd reach my presence for or hello, whom I was calling for nothing grateful about me. Anyways, wanted to share a story with you. Thoughts it in my desk at work. A coworker walked by rattling Eisner drinking. All I can was hello. This is turning to have one stock area coming around. <laughs> I, I look up around. Is. Yeah. <laughs> thinking, oh, crap. Where's my drink but injuring anyways? <laughs> I'm at work, so the problem, man. The show, great weekend. Great up. Talk to you later. Bye. Don't say anything. Hey, it's Britt. Uh, it's been a couple weeks, so I Pretty thought good. I'd greet you with my presence or, or my voice. <laughs> well, who am I kidding? There's nothing graceful about me. Anyways, uh, I wanted to share a story with you. Uh, so I was sitting at my desk at work, and a coworker walked by rattling their ice and their drink. And all I could think was, Annalise has turned me into Pavlov's dog. Every time I hear the rattle, I look around and think, oh, crap, where's my drink? I need a drink. <laughs> the only thing is, I'm usually at work, so I'm sure you see the problem here. That's Anyways, awesome. really enjoy the show and so awesome. great week. Really awesome. Great episode every week. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, my That's gosh. That's awesome. That's so awesome. All right. Yeah. Drink. <laughs> All right, one uh, one last uh, one from the 22nd of January this year. 
Um, That's so funny. I thought Tony left another one. This is Tony. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tony for solid state language. So this makes twenty five. This is a yeah. This is a, a dick story, I believe. So I'm not going to read. I'm not. <laughs> I, you don't, I don't want to read it. Well, the the thing is that it's it actually too much away. Yeah, it's actually okay. Okay. The transcription worked pretty well. Well, if you want to, maybe we can read it at the end. Okay, okay. So here we here we go. Okay. I almost just called him back. Hey Tony. Hello, friends. Oh. It's Tony from Salty Language with Hi, my own dinga story. <laughs> now, as half of the Salty Language show, I can't possibly keep saying the word dingus. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, so back when I was 12 or 13, whenever I discovered the world of self-pleasure, I was living with my dad at the time, and he had Playboys laying around oh. everywhere. So needless to say, my hand and my dick became Batman and Robin. <laughs> the problem was, since I was still a masturbation white belt, I was completely clueless about lubrication. So one morning, after what had been an intense night of dry jerking, oh, I woke up and my dick just ached. <laughs> when I dropped my umbros, I had what can only be called like a goiter on my shaft. <laughs> oh, wow. It looked like a cartoon character with a toothache, red and beaky. <laughs> oh, the pain no. is brutal. Even walking around hurt. But I think I lasted maybe 12 hours before I figured out how to jerk off again. I just favored one side, like, you know, when you're eating right after you bite your cheek. Pain be damned, I was getting this done. And that is how I got my yellow belt. Love you guys. Talk to you later. <laughs> Very cool. That's so awesome. Because That's we hilarious. were talking about our dingus. So do you want me to read it? Our dingus. <laughs> you, our dingus. Uh, do you want me to read it? Yeah. It says, hello, friends. It's Tony from Salty Language with my own dingus story. Now, as half of the salty language show, I can't possibly keep saying the word dingus. I'm just saying. So anyways, I mean, it's pretty much verbatim. Right. So apparently Google translates getting better. Because I, I was <laughs> with my dad. also speaking clearly and slowly. So yeah. maybe that's part of it. So we just want to thank everybody who uh, left a voicemail. Especially it's pretty Hannah, awesome. who has nine voicemails. We've been <laughs> threatening to do this for... since we started getting voicemails. Yeah, basically, I'm yeah. happy we're finally doing it. It's almost an hour long. Too. I know, that's funny. Um, so if you want to call and leave more voicemails, we'll do it again. We're, this is going to be one of those ones I'm going to listen to over and over again. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do it as a as a bonus on the app, and um, yeah, and we're gonna do it more often because now that we figured out an easy way to do it, right. it won't do as long as it doesn't cause us work. We're right. willing to do it. Hello. So um, <laughs> thank you everybody for the support. Thank you so much for downloading the thank app. You it's so, so funny. Much we love the app. It doesn't do anything. It's not like we and make money or anything. we're hitting 100 episodes this next week, so it's right about time. Yeah, so. my and my parents will be on for episode 100. So if you have so. any questions for them, <laughs> send them either. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. And, oh, anybody who has the app who doesn't have, who wants some stickers or koozies or some free Dark Angels and Pretty yeah, Freak stuff, know. go to give our website, call. contact us throughout, just give us your address and we'll send it. It's that easy. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye.